Hey there, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Break the Twitch. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some tips for minimalism beginners. So if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by the process of decluttering or just simply minimizing distractions in your life, have some things that were really helpful for me and I'm sure that they'll be helpful for your own process as well. All right, let's get right into it here. The first tip that I found to be very helpful is that minimalism is more of a mindset over a matter. And what I mean by that is it's really effective when you foster the idea of minimizing distractions on a regular basis so that you can do more of what matters. And to do that, you really just have to be able to consistently identify and find the things that are distractions and actively remove them from your life. Just like in a garden where you have weeds that pop up every month or so, you have to actively pull them and maintain that garden. So while it is nice to declutter your home and get a lot done all at once, it's more about establishing that mindset and your ability to differentiate what matters to you and what doesn't and continue pruning that garden so that you can create the results you want over time. Tip number two, choose a system and then stick with it for a while. There are different methods, ideologies, and systems to declutter your home. There's the men's game, Kanmari method, the box method. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, but whichever one you pick, stick with it for a while and just see how it works for you. You can always change later after you've experienced it for a bit. If you're interested, I did make a video with the six most popular decluttering methods and the pros and cons of each that might help you find one to start out with that would work really well for you. On to number three, there might not be massive, amazing, magical changes in your life overnight. It does feel really good to declutter, to see your space open up, and to even donate items to people who can use them. It's all really good, but it's actually the small and continuous changes that add up over time that really make the lasting impact. It's the process of choosing, and it's the process of building the muscle that allows you to decide what you want in your life and what you don't want in your life that actually make the big difference. So that takes time. It takes time to build that muscle, and it takes time to really see all these amazing things happen in your life. So remember to stick with it. Don't expect anything major to happen overnight, and you will see great things happen over time. Number four, this one is super important. Try not to put pressure on yourself to achieve a certain look based on something you've seen in magazines or in tutorials or different things. Really, this is about finding the look that works for you. Remember that form follows function. So create the space in your home that will leave you feeling inspired, productive, creative, and allow you to do the things that you want to do on a regular basis and make you feel how you want to feel. And that doesn't necessarily look the same for everyone. I made an entire video about this just called Avoid This Minimalism Mistake, which I will link to in the description of this video as well so you can learn more about that. Keep it alive with number five. This one is really about sustainability. It's about being able to take care of yourself, to keep the motion going, keep the momentum building with your decluttering. And it is this, start with the easy stuff. And I mean really easy. If you have like 800 paper clips on your desk, let's recycle some paper clips or donate them, find a place that can use them. It doesn't have to be the family heirloom that you've been on the fence about for the last couple of years and you just don't know what to do with. Leave those things for later because as I mentioned in, in tip number three, it really is about building that muscle. It's about building the decision engine in your mind so that you know what you want and what you don't. And as you build that muscle, it'll get easier and easier for you to continually make the space around you reflect that. When the going gets tough, remember to reconnect with your why. Remember what it is that you want out of this process. So what are you creating space for? Is it having more money, being able to pay off some debt, 
travel more, being able to spend more time with loved ones, or just simply being less stressed with the things that you need to do to maintain your life on a daily basis. Minimalism can help with all of those things. So if you get overwhelmed or you're stressed out by the decluttering process or finding your way with this, just go back to the why and remember why this is so important in achieving what you want. <music>